it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today is the weekly Three Licks One Palette video. I ran a poll here on my community tab just based on what the second place palettes were after Creepy Cute and Juvia's Place Deuce won. I think half of you guys voted for this one, so I'm really excited to do it, especially with my new hair. I love my hair so much. This is the first video I'm filming with this hair, and I feel like this palette was a match made in heaven for this hair. I feel like a creepy cute springy goddess especially with this look I feel very dark and moody and I love it this is what she looks like it's so pretty it's just cute and pastel and romantic but obviously as you see you can do some really dark dramatic looks too I feel like this is very versatile and I feel like this is a palette in my collection that I was not giving enough love I think before this video I've only used this maybe twice and I've had it for about a year so that's pretty sad and I'm happy I was able to kind of rediscover my love for it because I'm very happy with that palette as you saw from the intro I did this really cool kind of giant exaggerated shimmery wing I did that really pretty green half cut crease and then I did that really pretty pastel-y, pinky, purpley look that matched my hair very well. So let's just get into creating the looks. What's your pleasure? Oh. First things first, I'm just taking the shade Custard and I'm just heavily packing that on the inner and outer corner of the eye. I'm not really doing anything too crazy precise at this moment. I'm really just trying to build that color up as intense as I want it before carrying it through the rest of the crease. Just doing a very rounded shape with this look. I'm not really winging it out or doing anything like that. And I'm also tucking it underneath that lower lash line. Next, I'm going in with the shade Creme Cream. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I'm simply just blending that right above that custard shade just to begin to create that gradient from the purple into my skin. Again, not really doing a wing-like shape, not really doing anything crazy. I'm basically just... Trying to blow it out, you know, just getting it nice and smoky and diffused, very soft looking. Next, I'm taking chocolate. There's no E at the end, so it's chocolate. <laughs> and I'm just packing that on the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm going to begin to carry it through the crease, and I'm really focusing on keeping this very nice and tight and precise. And something about the way this brush worked with this shadow and the way that I was placing it, it almost gave like a faux cut crease kind of feel without me actually having to do an actual cut crease. It was super, super nice. Next with the shade Puffs, I'm simply just packing the shade all over my lid. I did have the brush wet so it could be extra metallic, but I'm just taking that and tucking it right up against where that darker chocolate shade was in the crease to give it, again, kind of a faux cut crease kind of a feel. And then just buffing that edge between Puffs and chocolate. And then I'm taking Tarte and I'm highlighting my inner corner with that. And I really love that color. It's so cute. It matches my hair perfectly. And then I'm picking up my Flutter Lashes Selfie Lashes and my Jeffree Star Rose Matter Liquid Lipstick. I popped that all over my lips, pat it out so it was a little bit more diffused, and that's about it. For this next look, I'm starting with that chocolate shade, <laughs> and I'm simply just packing this heavily in the outer corner of the eye, and then I'm going to begin to carry it through the rest of the crease. Nothing too crazy, pretty much how I start every look ever, but just going all the way from inner to outer corner, and then I will really start to heavily begin to build up that outer corner. I want a little bit more of a wing-like shape with this look. Nothing too, too crazy, but I do want it more angled towards the outer corner. And I'm also tucking that underneath the lower lash line as I usually do. And then picking up that creme shade, I'm simply just gonna be blending that right above that chocolate shade just to create that nice diffusion. I want it nice and blended as always. Taking that all the way from inner to outer corner and underneath that lower lash line. And again, keeping with that slightly angled shape in the outer corner of the eye. And then just adding a little bit more of that chocolate shade where it needs to be. And then I'm picking up my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, popping some of that across my lid and looking up so I can see where to cut the crease, and just taking a flat brush and following that line and doing a half cut crease, stopping it right about where those shades really begin to deepen in that outer corner. 
Next, taking macaroons, macarons, I don't know how to say that word, but I'm just popping that all over the lid where we cut the crease at. I don't believe I wet my brush from this. I think I just left it totally dry and it seemed to work out fine. And again, just popping this everywhere where I cut the crease all the way up to literally everywhere there's concealer. I can't really explain this in any more detail than, than it is. And then I'm just going and buffing the blend in between that green and the brown in the outer corner. Next, taking the shade Puffs, I'm highlighting my inner corner with that. This is such a cute little highlight shade. I love it so much. And then I'm going to be picking up my Flutter Lashes Selfie Lashes and my Jeffree Star Thick as Thieves Liquid Lipstick. I put this on my lips and that'll be it for this second look. Starting this look off with Berry Mousse, and I don't normally set my lid, but that's exactly what I'm doing in this sense because I'm going to be going in with a lot of liner next, and I wanted to make sure there wasn't any eyeshadow primer going to interfere later. And I'm taking my Tarte Tarteiste Black Clay Paint Liner, and I'm popping this all over my lid, and then I'm looking up as if I was doing a cut crease. And then I'm basically just using more of that liner to trace an exaggerated wing across my entire lid. This is kind of hard to explain and I feel like this is one of those things that requires you just kind of practicing with your own eye shape, but I'm just kind of doing a cut crease in the front half and then I'm drawing my wing shape in the outer half and then I'm just kind of swooping and connecting and filling it in. You can kind of see what I'm doing, but again, this is going to be one that you have to practice on your own eye shape more than any other look ever pretty much. And now I'm taking Mont Blanc, if that's how it's pronounced, and I'm packing this heavily on the pretty much outer two thirds of this whole shape all the way up in that wing like area all across the lid area just stopping it right where there's like that first third of the eye basically it's not really too much I can say about this but I'm just laying this all over top of it and I did not wet my brush for this this is totally dry it's super reflective over this black base I loved it it was so so cool And now I'm picking up Tarte and I'm doing the same thing. Basically, I'm just packing this everywhere in the inner third of the eye, just like we did with the black sparkly shade. This is just going to go in the front half. I'm also heavily packing this on the inner corner of the eye just for a nice cute little pop. And I'm just really smoking and blending that out. Next, I'm taking my Pixi Eye Define Waterline Black Eyeliner Pencil and I'm popping this all in my lower waterline and smudging that in my lower lash line just getting it really really messy basically and then i'm taking a smudgy brush and just smudging that out with no product on it just to get it nice and diffused before i go in with some shadows and i'm basically just taking that same sparkly blackish gray color and packing that kind of over top of where we were just smudging and connecting it to the wing in the outer corner. Nothing too crazy here. I'm just laying this down everywhere there's black, basically. And then I'm just using that same fluffy side of the brush that I used very first thing in this look to buff and blend that out so it was nice and soft and smoky. I wanted the lower lash line to be smoky compared to the top. And then I ended up going back over Tarte with a little bit of a denser brush just to make it even more intense. And next, picking up my Bold Face Thrill Seeker Lashes and my Apocalyptic Beauty Grimly Fiend liquid lipstick. I'm just popping that all over my lips and that'll be it for this final look. That's it. Those are my looks. I really hope you enjoyed them. Let me know which look was your favorite. I don't know what my favorite was. I loved all of them so much, especially with this hair. This palette was made for this hair color. I'm scared to wash it because I don't want it to fade at all. I, I would be happy with this color for the rest of my life, I feel like. That is very true, and I don't ever say that about my hair color. Anyway, do you guys have this palette? Is it a palette you've had your eye on? Have you even heard of this? I feel like this is a palette nobody really talked about, and I don't know why, myself included. I don't know why I kind of slept on this, but I love it. I'm going to be continuing to play with it because it's just so pretty, and it's perfect for springtime. It's got the prettiest pastel colors ever. Ooh, I feel like this with the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute, mm, you could create some really pretty pastel dreamy looks with those together. If you enjoyed this three looks one palette video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below which palettes you want me to use in future videos. If you go on my community tab area, I posted a little while back um, a picture of all of my palettes that I have not done three looks one palette videos on, so give that a look. Give it, give it a... Give it a glance, you know. <laughs> if you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beaut Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Let me know what videos you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.